Welcome everyone. Now here we have a question that requires us to calculate the weighted average cost of capital of this firm. And uh, the question is, Qatar Limited is a quoted company. Now a quoted company means this company is listed in the exchange market, which is financed by 10 million ordinary shares and 50 million of irredeemable 8% debentures. Irredeemable debentures means these debentures does not have maturity period or the nominal value. Mm -hmm. The market value of the shares is 20 shillings each ex dividend. Ex dividend means the word ex here means dividend is excluded when a shareholder is buying this type of shares. So when they are buying they are not paid dividends. They only get paid dividends when they are selling these particular shares in the market. And an annual dividend of 4 shillings per share is expected to be paid in perpetuity. The debentures are considered to be risk-free. Risk-free means these debentures are secure. In other words, they are a secure source of finance. So it means this company can rely on them as they try to minimize their risk factor. Now, the second part is not important. It applies to the other questions. Now, I want us to calculate the weighted average cost of capital using the first information. Now, what is this weighted average cost of capital? A firm will normally rely on two sources of capital. That is the equity, that is its own capital. And then also debt financed from outside, the external source of finance. When a firm uses more outside finance than its own finance, it says that the firm is highly geared. Now, a firm will normally try to control the amount of finance that they, uh, they, they, they use in running the operations. And with that one, they normally uh, calculate the average weight of the existing capital structures. By that one, they'll be able to know actually the cost of finances at which the, their company is running. So in other words, weighted average cost of capital simply refers to the average weights of the existing capital structures of a firm. And for us to determine this work, we follow this procedure. We have, we determine the specific costs, that is the cost of each finance, uh, the first of each capital, then determine the market values of those specific costs. Then third, we get the weights of the capital. Now the weights of the capital, capital will be the value of each capital divided by the market value. We get the ratio, that is the weight. And we are going to see from our example. Now from this example, we are supposed to determine the specific cost. Like in this case, the first cost we have is ordinary shares, which is an equity. And for us to get the cost of equity, we normally divide, this is D subscript zero stands for the dividend payment of a market, uh, market value or the market share for this particular uh, equity. Like in this case, we have the market value of the shares is 20 shillings each and an annual dividend of 4%. So it means we're going to divide 4, divide by 20. And because we express our cost in, in terms of percentage, we multiply by 100. Because this one goes here as 0 0.5 times, I, I mean uh, 0 0.2 times, okay? Then of course, we're going to have is 0 0.2 now 0 0.2 is the cost for the equity the other type of debt or capital in this firm is the 0 0.8 percent debenture and because because there is no market value of this debenture by virtue of being irredeemable, it means that this 8% is the cost of this debenture. And it is the interest. So the cost of debenture in this case is the interest, which is 8%. It 
equivalent to 0 0.08. Now, after doing that one, we can now go to the table. <clears throat> and from the table, we normally start with the first column. We have the capital. We are supposed to determine after the capital, we get the market value of this capital. Then after that, we get the weights, the weights of those capital in the market. And then we get the cost, of course, the cost we have identified for each. Then lastly, we are supposed to get the weighted cost. Of course, weighted cost, weighted cost, you can give it a, a denotation of maybe weighted cost. This one can be the market value. This one can be give a capital market value, W for weight. We give this one C. So for us to get weighted cost, it's supposed to be the weight times the cost. Okay. So for us to get these weights, we are supposed to divide the value of each capital. So if you divide the value of each capital, you divide by the market value. So we are going to see how to go about that. Like the type, the first type of capital from this question is ordinary shares. So when you have ordinary shares and what is the market value this is how we get the market value it's supposed to be financed by 10 million ordinary shares and you see the market value of the shares is 20 each so it means the market the overall market value is 10 million times 20 okay so it's supposed to be 10 million times 20 if you know that we are working with millions so we can always negate to make our work to be easier you can negate you can just give it this a million for that particular working so this one gives us 20 to 200 million okay then the other one is eight percent debenture the other type of capital that the company is associated with. So 8% debenture, the value is 50 million because there is no market value. They, we say they are redeemable. So you're going to have 50 million again. Then for us to get the market value for the, for the whole, we are supposed to get the total of 200 plus 50, which is 250. This one comes the total market value. The total market value becomes 250. This one should be the total market value. The value of each times the divided by the market value. Like the weight for ordinary shares is supposed to be these. 200 200 divide by total market which is 250 and when you divide the 2 200 divide by 250 you're supposed to get 0 0.8 0 0.8 okay then for this one is 50 divide by 250 the market value so you get 50 divide by 250 supposed to be 0 0.2 0.2 those are the weights <clears throat> but now we want to get the overall cost the, the, the weighted cost for the whole so it means earlier we had discovered that the weight for the capital was 0 0.8 I mean all the shares was 0 0.2 sorry 0 0.2 what about the weight for these debentures it was 0 0.0 8 and we said for us to get the weighted cost it is w which is the weight times the cost so when you multiply this is supposed to be 16 
into two decimal 0 0.16 then 0 0.2 times 0 0.08 we are going to have 16 we have three decimal places one two three so zero point that one then we get the weighted average cost of capital of this firm which is supposed to be the total of the weighted cost so we have 0 0.16 plus 0 0.016 and we get an answer of 0 0.176 this is the weighted average cost of capital and it's supposed to be expressed in terms of percentage so it's supposed to be 17.6 percent